quick rant from me. Some people will dislike you in life because they do not have a valid reason to dislike you. And that in itself annoys the hell out of them. And what do I mean by valid reason? I mean, they really, really, really passionately dislike you, but there is nothing about your character or the way you choose to live your life that warrants such a strong level of dislike. They know deep down there's nothing about you they can shout about without looking bitter, without looking like a hater, that their dislike is coming from a quite insidious place. They're the people, because they're clutching at straws, right? They're the people that will cling onto absolutely anything, even if it's the smallest error, the most minute mistake, if it will enable them to shout about how much they dislike you or dogpile you in any scenario. They're also the people that will try to get you out of your character. They'll try and draw you out. They're the kind of people who will troll you in the hope that you will respond in a way that is not really becoming or that you will say something that will give them that, that gotcha moment, you know? I gotcha. That's what they want. They want that gotcha moment. <laughs> basically long story short some people will dislike you for absolutely no substantial reason at all let me not even yeah let me not use the word valid because whether it's valid or not everyone's entitled to, dis to dislike who they want to dislike but there are some people that will dislike you for no real substantial reason beyond you just being you other people will ask them why they dislike you and they can never really quite pinpoint it they might talk about oh your energy they might talk about just your general mannerisms or they'll pick at something that is so like surface level and insignificant but yeah you can't help that. Basically, don't let them draw you out. Don't let them get you out of character. Stay true to who you are. And not everyone deserves a response from you. Hey, rich babes. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome, welcome. You are now officially a rich babe. Today, we are talking about when people do not like you for no reason. I know that a lot of us have already had that experience where you felt the energy, you felt the vibe, you seen the body language, you heard the snares, and you're like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Like, I ain't do nothing to you. I'm just here existing and you don't like me. So <laughs> with that being said, we're going to get into it. I'll have my commentary at the end. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. That really helps my channel, and I'll see you when this is over. You can feel when people don't like you. They don't have to tell you. You can feel it. You can feel toxicity. You can feel haterade. Nobody has to tell you I don't really like you. You can tell it the way they shake your hand, the way they look at you. What comes from the heart goes to the heart. Now, I'm not saying I know everything, but one thing I know is when a person is committed to not liking you, and I do mean committed to not liking you, they're going to look for any and everything in order to justify their jealousy, justify why they don't like you. People literally make it their hard down business to not like you. And when they don't, they're going to believe every rumor. They're going to believe every lie. They're going to believe everything they said. And they're going to always accuse your intentions. Your intentions will never be enough for a person who has already made a decision that they don't like you. Mm -hmm. So what I need you to do is to stop trying to please these folks. Because I know I don't. And I need you to be confident. It's just like Jesus. They were committed to not liking Jesus, which is why the Pharisees tried to trip up every little thing that he did. Everybody else can get grace but you because they committed to not like you. Everybody else, they'll say, oh, it's okay. It's not a big deal. But because it's you, because they, they have some type of jealousy or insecurity or there's something about your personality that they just cannot get with, they're going to always accuse you. So, boom. Stop trying so hard to get these folks to like you. A lot of people don't like you because of who you are. They see your greatness. They see your, your gentleness. They see your power. They see your potential. And they sit back and they, and they you know, say certain things and they treat you a certain way. Let me tell you something. Never change who you are for nobody. The question that I had to ask myself is why do some people not like me? It's like you start and you go, what is it? And so then you go through, okay, well, maybe it's my look. Mm -mm. Um, maybe it's what I say. The thing that I started to realize through mindfulness and meditation is that everybody's just not going to dig you. It took me a long time to understand that. And, but the, the mistake that I was making was that I was trying to be 
what you thought they wanted. Exactly. Oh. Bottom line is that for some of us, it really hurts when someone dislikes us for no reason. When people don't like you for no reason, at least me, that shit will send me into a very dark place. Have me all in my head, ruminating, trying to figure out what I've done wrong and why. And I, I got to a point where I got sick of that shit though. But I didn't have a solution. And I would talk to people like, you know, well, most people like me, but this one person doesn't. Like, I don't understand why. You know, I don't, I don't get it. Well, you know, you have a certain energy about you, a certain light. People are, are repelled by it if they envy you. And I'm like, eh, ain't nobody special around here, bro. That's crazy to me. Like, it has to be deeper than that. I don't like surface shit. I like Mariana Trench deep shit. Like, there is something more to this, especially if I'm not able to get over it. What's really going on? And so I started looking at things very differently, as I often do. Safe to say that if someone doesn't like me, someone doesn't like you, y'all's energies are not in alignment, right? Okay, so let's put that in the back pocket. Let's think about this. If I really had to be honest and analyzing all of the people in my life who have not liked me over the years, the reality is, is A, I feel indifferent towards them, or B, I don't like those motherfuckers either. So who am I? Who am I? To know that I feel indifferent towards someone, because again, our energies are not in alignment, or who am I to dislike someone and then expect that they like me in return? That shit is sick! <laughs> and it smells like narcissism to me, and I don't ever want to be associated with narcissism. And so that was my cure. My cure was to look within myself, not look at the other people, look at me. What am I doing wrong? What is my contribution rate to this whole situation? And the reality is, <laughs> bitch, I don't like you either. The feeling is mutual. And how dare me, how dare me want for somebody to still like me even though I am indifferent towards them or I feel dislike. That's not right. And so that was the cure and that helped me to reframe and reshape my thinking and I hope that it will help you, right? So that's what I want to contribute today. I hope that I've helped you. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you find this content inspiring and relatable. And so I hope that you have a beautiful day, all right? <laughs> you absolutely know what's coming next. Here we go. Selfie stick, remote control, tripod thingy. Whenever you find that people just don't like you for no reason and you've done nothing to them, it's because your integrity, your energy, sometimes may be too much for them and they can't handle it. Sometimes your light brings out their darkness. When people don't like you, they get real dismissive, especially when people do stuff to you. Like they would dismiss like somebody stabbing you in the back, somebody being fake towards you. I let you do something that they feel like ain't right shine light on that but they never shine light on when people doing bad stuff to you it's like they get a kick out of it and i want you to know just because somebody not addressing something that happened to you or like validating that it was wrong that somebody did something to you don't mean that they wasn't wrong like they do that to make you feel crazy one of the reasons why people don't like you is because you know the truth when someone is so cocky with their mistreatment towards you that they show you exactly who they are while revealing every single intimate detail about their life the rage that overcomes them when they are unable to break you sends them into a frenzy where they will intentionally do whatever it is they can in order to try to hurt you get your attention and get a response out of you even if it means telling everyone nothing but false information about you because deep down inside they're so afraid of people actually knowing who they are that they are willing to blame you for everything and it's so interesting to watch people throw themselves under a bus that you're not even driving because truth be told, even if you do still feel some type of way about what someone has done to you, in some situations, we really don't care enough to speak about it because we've either moved so far beyond it that we just simply don't care. It's not a focus. We're focused on ourselves and our own internal healing. We know that they're going to get what's coming to them because they already have to exist as themselves. And sometimes for some people, that's enough not to get back at somebody. Or we're just going to get them back when we're ready and able. And that's why they're obsessed with you. Because when these people harm you and do you wrong, while on the outside, they're super cocky because they feel like you will never say anything about it or do anything about it, which feeds into their ego because they have been able to get away with hurting and misleading people for so long. For some of these narcissists, they are extremely paranoid. And every day of their life, they are living in fear of you. Which is typically why these types of people and the environments and societies that support them do whatever they can to silence you, corner you, and convince you and everyone around you that you are crazy. Sometimes they're hoping that one day you snap in such a way where when you do finally speak, no one will believe you because they recognize that we live in a society where presentation and image is everything to a lot of people. 
And so sometimes when someone is overtly and obviously emotional, they know that people will focus more on the emotion and not what's actually being said. But that does not change the fact that they are very afraid. And they should be. And that's why they keep coming back and keep coming after you. They want to keep trying to get you before you get them, even if you're not even planning on getting them. So do you understand how powerful you are? You have people in shambles and all you're doing is existing and minding your business. As intimidating and overwhelming as life may be, because there are so many people like them, all of those horrible people together will never be stronger than you by yourself. Each and every one of them are afraid of you. So the next time you feel down about someone that won't leave you alone, that's continuing to spread false information about you, just remember, you know the truth. And even if you do nothing with that, but move on with your life in peace and in silence, they will have the day that they deserve. You want to protect your energy? Learn to shut the fuck up and let people talk about you. Some of y'all don't realize moments like these are for the sake of character development. Your confidence sucks. But if you were to shut the hell up and listen, you'd realize bitches be talking about you from outside of a room that they didn't put you in, can't take you up out of, nor can they get into it themselves. And if your words don't elevate you and they don't move me, they're weak as fuck. Just like you hope. <laughs> if you are a great leader, you're going to have people who don't like you. Mm -hmm. If everybody always loves you, it's probably because you're not really leading. Right. Because great leaders have to make decisions that are not always popular. Great leaders have to make decisions based upon what they see as a for and they have oversight and also foresight and everybody else has hindsight sometimes and they don't see it yet. You have to be willing to ruffle feathers and to do things that other people will not do. Right. But at the same time, there is a persona and a this swag that you have that you can be a great person to your boss mm -hmm. like you know how to make them shine and make them look good yeah and the people that are under you you know how to give them confidence mm -hmm. and not micromanage but delegate appropriately and the people that are beside you treat you like a friend when you find somebody that really un understands chemistry you got yourself a win they do not hate you they do not hate you they love you let me give you an example i hate roaches at 25 years old, roaches can still make me jump out of my skin. So in my life, I cannot have roaches anywhere near me. If there's a roach around me, I'm in the wrong place. But make it make sense how people can claim to hate you. And when you turn this way, they're here. When you turn this way, they're here. They're the first person to watch you. They're the first person to know your business. They're the first person to have an opinion on everything you do. It's a fan, girl. It's your biggest supporter. In fact, they don't hate you. They hate how much they love you. And once you realize that, that they have a sickness and you cannot do anything to help them, you just have to ignore them, Jerry. And you cannot take them seriously. The only advice, criticism, critique I accept is from people that I look up to and I love. Any other word is like a fly, just that's a real fly. <laughs> People that actually hate you, they'll stay away from you like I stay away from roaches. So if they're always on your case, they love you. <laughs> they love you. When people don't like you, they will watch all of your stories but won't like a damn thing. I love this comment because I tell people this all the time. There's a reason why you see that person liking, commenting, supporting, wishing other people happy birthday. But when it comes to you specifically, they're just magically silent. They do not like you. People are like, oh, it's just social media, but it's not. There is a person behind that profile. How someone behaves in real life is how they act, but how someone behaves on social media is what they think. Even if they're just sharing memes, now you know what they think is funny. There is a psychological component to what people post, what posts they like, and who they choose to engage with. And one of the biggest indicators is when they watch your stories, but they withhold their support. People are crazy. They're going to keep you on social media instead of unadding you because they're hoping to see your downfall. That is why they watch your stories so that they can get the scoop on what's happening in your life. But make no mistake, just because they're part of your audience doesn't mean they're rooting for you to win. A lot of the people who say and act like they don't like you secretly admire you and want you to see them and have put you on a pedestal because when you really don't like someone you're not going to keep tabs on them. It just seems interesting to me that for some hoes that don't like you you seem on their minds and in their conversations a lot and 
they always want to know what you have going on when that feeling is not reciprocated. Maybe it's just a me thing, but when I don't like a person because I realize they don't have my best interest, the last thing I want or need is a news update on your daily life. So this is your reminder that liking yourself first and foremost is what's important and you have way more super fans than you. Wanna know a secret? Studies show that 65% of people who follow you online are hate following you. They're hate watching you. What is that? A lot of these people that follow you are not real supporters. Some of them don't even really like you and a lot of them are hate watching. They're watching to see what is she gonna do next? What is he gonna do next? What is he up to? Think about that next time you post. Think about that next time you overshare your life. Think about that next time you overshare good news and how you move online. Remember that 65% of people that are watching you don't even like you. Hey, yo, I'm going to say this because it needs to be said. Stop surrounding yourself with people who don't like you. People who silence you. People who find ways to belittle you in front of other people. People who make you feel like you're too much. People who make you feel like you're too little. People who never see you. People who constantly playing with your boundaries. People who always want to yuck your yum. People who take your kindness for weakness. We so often overlook people just not liking us. Like you can love somebody and believe it or not, not like them. Start honoring yourself enough to be able to take some distance when somebody keeps showing you they don't respect you. That's really what all those things are, honestly. I don't care if it's friends, family, your parents, it don't matter. Like if somebody's constantly showing you all these signs, they clearly don't fuck with who you are as a person. So move around. Make room so you can go find your people. They're out there, I promise. Okay, so in one of those clips, the girly was saying how 65% of people that follow you don't even like you. Like, what? That's more than half of your entire following. So <laughs> you might as well put on the show, you know, because if, if, you, if you don't have no haters, you're not doing it right. So <laughs> that's crazy, 65%. I hope that you guys like me, okay? You guys watch it. <laughs> but um, I love doing these videos for you guys. I love the support that you guys have been giving me. I just, I'm really grateful. Um, please make sure that you continue to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps my channel grow. I'm just trying to grow. I'm just trying to provide for my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and also please make sure that you comment and um comment down below i read all of the comments and i also do my best to respond to every single one i do appreciate that and keep the conversations going and again rich babes don't worry if people don't like you i mean it just comes with a job right so with that being said i post daily so please make sure that you subscribe so you can stay connected and I will see you my rich babes next time.